Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about rational numbers. Before we start, we just divide the set of numbers that we have. The smallest set of numbers that we know, which is defined by the natural number. Which is the number that we use for counting? When I ask you to count any element, just to start from 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. All of those numbers defined by the natural number. We can say that we have a new set, which is defined by the whole number. The only difference between the natural number and the whole number that we have zero. So any natural number will be belongs to the whole number. So for the whole number, we just write all of the natural number and we add zero. After that, we will form a new set which is defined by the integer number. We will use the letter Z for the integer number. The integer number defined by three parts. The negative part and the positive part and zero. For zero is neither positive nor negative. For positive, we just increase the amount. And for the negative, we just decrease the amount. Zero doesn't decrease or decrease. So because of that, zero is neither positive nor negative. After that, we have a new set, which is our lesson today. The new set defined by the rational number. We will use Q for the rational number. So the rational number is any number can be written in the form of A over B. A over B is a fraction. So any number that you can write in the form of a fraction would be rational number. But we have a condition that a and b must be a number of integer numbers. It could be positive or negative or zero. But we have another condition that b cannot be equal to zero. Because we can divide any number by zero. So the rational number, any number that you can write in the form of a fraction, we can use for a and b any integer number. But only b cannot be equal to zero. Because we can divide any number by zero. The first question that we have today, we need just to convert the fraction or the mixed number to a decimal. We will use a longer division to convert. So we have here 5 over 8. 5 now will be the dividend, and 8 will be the divisor. Now we will divide. 5 divided by 8. 5 is smaller than 8, so we can divide. So we just write 0. And now we have 50 divided by 8. 50 divided by 8 will be equal to 6. So 6 multiplied by 8 equals to 48. By subtract will be equals to. Because we didn't finish, we just write 0 and bring it down. So we have 20. 20 divided by 8 equals 2. Because 2 multiplied by 8 equals to 16. By subtract will be equals to 4. Now we will add just 0. So we have 40 divided by 8 equals to 5. And 5 multiplied by 8 equals to 40. By subtract will be equal to 0. So 5 over 8 in the decimal form will be equal to 0 0.625. Again in question number 2, 3 over 4. By using long division, we'll just write 3 divided by 4. 3 is smaller than 4, so we can divide. Just write 0 point, then divide. 30 divided by 4, the closed number now will be 7. Because 7 times 4 equals to 28. By subtract will be equals to. We didn't finish, so we just add 0 and bring it down. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And 5 times 4 equals 220. By subtract will be equal to 0. So 3 over 4 in the decimal form will be equal to 0 0.75. Now we have question number 3. 2 over 5. We will just divide. 2 divided by 5. 2 is smaller than 5, so we can divide. Just write 0 point. Now we have 20 divided by 5 would be equal to 4. Because 4 multiplied by 5 equals to 20. By subtract will be equal to 0. So 2 over 5 will be equal to 0 0.4. In question number 8, we have negative 2 over 9. Once we have a negative number, so the answer now will be negative. So we will divide now 2 by 9. 2 is smaller than 9, so we'll just write 0. Point. Now we have 20 divided by 9 equals 2. Because 2 multiplied by 9 equals 280. By subtract will be equals 2. Put 0 and bring it down. So we have 20 divided by 9 is still equals 2. 2 times 9 equals 280. By subtract will be equals 2. Write 0 and bring it down so it will be 20. You will find that you will repeat the same number. So the answer now will be equal 0 0.22 and we will repeat two infinite number of times. So how can we represent that? To represent it, as we said, the fraction is negative, so the decimal also would be negative. And just write 0 point. We just repeat 2, so just write 2, and we have a bar above 2. Once you find a bar, it means we have a digit will be repeated. 
the only digit will be repeated which is 2 so the answer now would be equal to 0.2 repeated the same in question number 9 once we have a negative fraction so the answer now would be negative now we will divide 6 divided by 11 6 is smaller than 11 so we just write 0 point and we will divide 60 divided by 11 will be equals 5 and 5 times 11 equal to 55 by subtract will be equals 5 put 0 up and bring it down so we have 50 divided by 11 will be equals to 4 because 4 times 11 equal to 44 by subtract will be equal 6 now put 0 up and 0 down 60 divided by 11 will be equals 5 and 5 times 11 equal to 55. By subtract will be equals 5. Put 0 up and that will be 0. 50 divided by 11 equals 4. Because 4 times 11 equal to 44. You will find that we have 54 will be a repeated infinite number of times. Because we have repeated number so it will be 0 0.54 repeated. And that's how can we represent the repeated number. In question number 12 we have 3 and 1 over 11. Once we have here the fraction is negative, so the answer of the decimal now will be negative. If you have here a whole number or a mixed number, so just write the whole number without any change. And only we will use the fraction. So we'll just divide here. 1 divided by 11. 1 is smaller than 11, so we'll just write 0 point, then divide. 10 is smaller than 11, so we can divide, so we'll just write 0. Now we have 100. 100 divided by 11 equals to 9, because 9 times 11 equals to 99. By subtract will be equals to 1, and bring down 1, 0. So we have 10. 10 is smaller than 11, so we can divide, just write 0. And we have 100 divided by 11 equals to 9. 9 times 11 equals to 99. By subtract will be equals 1. You will find that we have 0, 9 is repeated. So we just write. 0 0.09 and because that's repeated there will be two digits so put the bar above the two digits if we have only one digit repeated put the bar above the repeated digit if you have two digits will be repeated put the bar above the two digits in this part of the lesson we'll know how can we divide the decimal to be a fraction or a mixed number so we have 0 0.45 at the first there is no whole number so it's mean there is no whole number beside the fraction so just write the fraction now at the right of the decimal we have 45 just write 45 at the right of the decimal there is two digits so we just write the denominator now will be 100 but 45 over 100 is not the simplest form because we can divide both of them by 5 so 45 divided by 5 equals to 9 and 100 divided by 5 will be equals to 20 so 0 0.45 in the simplest form will be 9 over 20 again in question number 20 now 0 0.32 there is no whole number it means there is no mixed number the answer now would be a fraction so just write 32 we have two digits at the right of the decimal so we just write 100 if we have only one digit it means the denominator will be 10 two digits at the right of the decimal it means the denominator will be 100 if we have three digits the denominator will be 1000 now 32 over 100 is not the simplest form because we can divide both of them by 4 32 divided by 4 equals 8 and 100 divided by 4 will be equal to 25 in question number 21 we have negative 0 0.14 now we have a negative number so just put the negative outside the fraction just write 14 now because we have two digits at the right of the decimal so the denominator will be 100 so the only difference between the positive and negative if the decimal is a positive so the answer will be positive if the decimal is negative so the answer will be negative once we have here any number instead of zero so that will be the whole number beside the fraction it means the answer will be a mixed number write the negative without any change 14 divided by 2 equals to 7 and 100 divided by 2 will be equals to 50 so negative 0 0.14 the simplest form would be negative 7 over 50 in question number 25 we have 0 0.5 repeat the difference between the normal decimal and the repeated decimal, if we have here 0 0.5 without repeating, so the answer now will be 5 over 10. If we have 2 digits, the denominator will be 100. 3 digits, the denominator will be 1000. But once we have repeated numbers, so the denominator now will be 
and so on. If we have one digit at the right of the decimal, the denominator will be 9. Two digits, the denominator now will be 99. So to convert at the first, we just write the fraction bar. There is no whole number or the whole number of the decimal is 0. It means there is no whole number beside the fraction. Just write 5. There is only one digit at the right of the decimal, so the denominator now will be 9. If we have only fraction without repeated, the denominator will be 10. But once we have here repeated number, the denominator now will be equals to 9. 5 over 9 is the simplest form. So now we have in question number 26, we have 0 0.27 repeated. Just we write 27. And because we have two digits at the right of the decimal, so the denominator now will be equal to 99. As we said before, if we have any decimal, so the denominator will be 100. But once we have your repeated decimal and we have two digits at the right of the decimal point, it means the denominator will be 99. 27 over 99 is not the simplest form. We can divide it by 9, so the answer now will be equal to 3. And 99 divided by 9 equal to 11. In question number 27, we just write equal, so we have 0 0.2 repeat. Just we write 2. There is only one digit at the right of the decimal, so the denominator now will be equal to 9. If we have here a normal decimal, so the denominator will be 10, 100, 1000, and so on. And that's depend on the number of the digit at the right of the decimal. But once we have here a repeated decimal, so we just write at the denominator 9, 99, 999, and so on. It's depend on the number of digit at the right of the decimal. And that's how can we convert between the different forms of the rational number.